What's up guys, welcome to today's video, my name's Cody. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, our channel here is devoted to making you better um, at Madden 16, and so we do that through a variety of things, but the one thing that we're going to be doing that today is we're going to be doing that through our tips portion, and so if you guys were here yesterday, uh, what you saw is that we discussed how to beat two-man under uh, in Madden NFL 16 with a specific type of route, and so the route comes to us out of the St. Louis Rams offensive playbook and the play is comes out of this from the gun tight offset tight end formation and the play that we utilize is drive out now this is a basic concept that can be applied to a, a multiplicity of playbooks the key is this is this if you look on this screen here is this out pattern this 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 kind of speed out uh, type of route and so that's what we're looking to and the other key is that this player uh, be a kind of in a compressed set type of formation like a shotgun tied off set tied in because we're going to be motioning this receiver to the outside uh, but if you guys were here yesterday what you also will remember is that I told you that I wanted to share with you today how to use the same pattern to beat zone defense. Um, this is a popular route to beat man, and so we discussed that yesterday, but what I want to show you today is a nice little way that you can utilize this route um, to beat zone coverage. And so we're going to use a basic dime defense, and we're going to show this uh, today. We're going to start with a cover four, and we're going to cover a cover four, cover three, and cover uh, two. And those are the basic zone coverages, uh, and pretty much what you're going to typically see online. So those are the ones that I'm going to cover today, uh, but I don't have enough time to cover every single thing. But anyway, We'll go ahead and select the drive out. Uh, real quick before we get into the play, um, like I said yesterday, guys, if you go to our uh, description after this video, what you're going to find there is there is a, a link to purchase our offensive ebook from Arizona. And Arizona actually uses a lot of these same concepts and actually expands on them a little bit more and a little bit easier of a way to digest. And so if you guys want to check that out, you can check out that shotgun snugs uh, in, in that basis out of Arizona's playbook. Um, but I have that down there for you, and that is only $10 uh, to purchase. So if you guys are interested in expanding your knowledge uh, and for really not too expensive, you might check out that offensive ebook below. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get into this play. So we have a zone look, right? So we've, we we know this is good against man, but what happens if they call a zone? Well, we're still going to motion Brown to the out uh, and snap him at the numbers. But now instead of bullet passing, and there we, we, we got a little bit bad of an animation. But instead of bullet passing this route, what we're going to want to do now is we're going to high pass lead this. And so we're going to high pass lead by holding L1. And you see that we're going to get this nice possess possession catch on the outside. So here, what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm just going to motion Brown to the outside. I'm going to hold L1, and I'm going to throw that high possession catch as soon as he breaks to the outside. What you want to do is you want to find a guy with good catch in traffic. Uh, normally, if I'm the Cardinals, I would put Larry Fitzgerald or, or Michael Floyd out there, but uh, the key is high catch in traffic and good route running. But what you're going to see is you're going to get this nice animation. The zone defender, in my, it, he just doesn't play this route very well. And it, it really allows us to take advantage of it. Um, you want to work on your time with it. But what you're really looking to get is that nice possess possession catch on the outside with that, with that kind of back shoulder animation. Um, so that's the cover four, which you've been seeing. Now I want to go to the cover three and show you that it's the same pattern. So cover three, same pattern. We throw that out. And you're gonna see, and and sometimes you'll get a bad throw. That's why it's good to have a, you know, a good quarterback like a, you know, maybe like a, or excuse me, like a Peyton Manning or or Tom Brady throwing this instead of maybe Carson Palmer. But as you see, you're looking for this nice possession catch. That was cover three, and you see the uh, just the the, the sheer. Uh, destruction that this route is going to allow you to have it's just very consistent very smooth and you see that nice possession catch animation now the reason we use the high pass lead against zone is for our next defense we're going to show you it's for cover two when you're facing cover two they're actually going to probably defend this really well but the high pass lead is going to allow you to get a nice animation that's not going to get intercepted that's why we throw the high pass lead and so here we're going to show you even against cover two where they should have that flat covered we're still able to export it and we're still able to get the ball out to our to our receiver like I said you want to continue to work on the timing in my opinion with this route timing is essential like I said you want to throw it right as soon as he breaks to the outside 
and and then you're going to get this nice possession style catch on the outside. Now, uh, guys, if you have any questions about this little route here specifically, um, or our products, or just Madden 16 in general, be sure to leave those in the comments of this uh, video, and I'll try to address those, whether it be uh, in this video or whether it be um, you know a direct response. Uh, you know, I'll use my discretion on that, but I will try to read your comment and get back with you. Um, what you're going to see here, and you saw that press, the key is just waiting for him to cut. Um, as you're seeing, I've had a couple of bad timings, but here we'll show you. We just wait for him to cut, and we're going to be able to throw that. For some reason, Carson Palmer's really kind of being a little bit stupid right now with his uh, accuracy. I don't know why he's having so much issues with this. But um, there it is. Get him to the outside. There's that back shoulder catch and the possession catch. So um, that's why we like uh, routes like this, and that's why we try to find routes like this. But um, this route uh, is one of the most important routes in your passing offense this year. So I wanted to go ahead and do a video talking about it a little bit for you. Um, but like I said, guys, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments, and I'll try to uh, I'll, I'll try to either address them in a future video or uh, just send you an email or respond to you on YouTube. Um, and also, guys, be sure to check out that ebook. Like I said, it it goes into a lot more detail and really explains some of the reads and progressions and things like that. That's going to allow you to have a really really solid offense in this year's game. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to share this video with you because I thought that it would make you a little bit better at Madden 16 uh, as we're all just trying to get a little bit better at this at this season's game. So if you guys like this channel, if you like the content we produce, be sure to subscribe. Otherwise, guys, we'll see you back.